Hey guys, so so let me show you what I have here. So you, you can see the plug here. So this is the VBAT, then this is the ground, right? Then telemetry and the current and all the four motors. So this is the CL board racing, which basically has exactly the same pinout. You see that there's, you know, voltage, ground, telemetry, current, and the motors, which on this pyro board, that's exactly the same. So you have four motors, current, telemetry, uh, ground, and VBAT. Exactly the same thing. So if I power this up, and by the way, that's the, I don't know if you can see, but that's the ESC that comes with the stack. So if I power this up, you can see that this flight control works just fine. It will boot and everything. So if, I, if I take this plug out, beam for a moment. So I have it right like that. I'm just gonna put it in the flight controller. So now I'm using this one. And you see that really the only thing that I did here was to solder, if it focuses, uh, this, you know, I soldered the, basically just the crossfire. And then here the VTX, you can see that I was not using anything else, not even from the other side. It's only the TX2, RX2, you know, TX5 ground, or, you know, the, the VTX basically. But if I power this up, and it has the same wiring, you know, nothing happens. The flight controller is, is basically dead. And I could measure, you know, let me get, let me get my multimeter. So if I measure the voltage on, on these two, let's see if I can get it with one hand, it's not really easy. There we go. So 16.8, that's that's coming there. And the flight control is there. I mean, it was working for the USB connection, but as soon as I plug this harness in, that's when it stopped working. And, you know, I have this other flight controller that is, it has exactly the same pinout and, and it works. So I don't think it's the ESC. And I was measuring, you know, the the voltage on, on here basically and it's it's 16.8 as well so it's supplying the right voltage and it's connected you know the harness is connected exactly how it should be so i really don't think that it's the esc the board gets hot by the way it is pretty hot if i touch it so something is happening on the board but yeah it's it's just completely dead and the same thing is for the other one you know this other one it's basically the same thing just on this one i also soldered the camera so this one, this was the first board actually that like failed on me. So I had it all soldered. I, I checked with the USB first and that was working. Then I, you know, I soldered all the, the crossfire and and the VTX and everything. Um, and then as soon as I plug it in into the harness, uh, that's where it stopped working. And so you can see here, if I plug it in, nothing happens, right? But here, if I measure the voltage again, it's not really easy with one hand. There we go. Let me, let me try to use my both hands. Okay, so if I measure the voltage, it's 16.7. You see that I, I'm using the black one, so that's why it's minus. But, you know, voltage is coming to the board. And I'm not using any other, you know, anything other than this, this uh, harness. And the harness is connected, you know, how it should be. So that's, that's a little strange. And this, this board also gets hot. I also have other pyro, you know, boards that I could connect to this. It's just in my, you know, it's just in my other pods. I'll let you kind of get it, get it out of there. But I mean, I can do that if, if, if you, if you guys need that. Mm, I, I can plug it in, and those work. I, I tested it, I tried, and, and those are working just fine. So I, I really, it's, it's really strange to me that it would be, you know, two of those. I would expect maybe one of them, but two of those. That's, that's really strange. So I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, but the ESC is working just fine. And, you know, I have other flight control that works just fine. So I really don't think it's the ESC. Yeah, not, not sure.